Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna do a quick video on what is a quant. So I'm making this video for a variety of reasons. First off, I think I'm a quant. Uh, second off, a lot of people are claiming they're quants who aren't quants, which I'll put a little link up here in the right corner. It'll be a card. Um, it'll be up here, I guess, and it'll have why you're not a quant, which is another video I made. Anyways, um, just quick definition. It's not agreed upon by anybody. It's kind of a fluid concept. However, being a quant today is very popular. Recruiters are looking for quants all over the place. Um, as you'll see in my other video, I think it's somewhat derogatory, but yet I use the term quite a bit. So it has pros, it has cons. It's a good way to generalize people. It's a good way to narrow things down. I guess we're looking for talent and skills. So let's just dive in real quick. These are all my opinions. Like I said, there's no definitive answer of what a quant is, but this is what I think. Uh, quant is basically four skill sets. First, you need math. Second, you need statistics. Third, you need computer science. Fourth, you need a subject matter, which is typically finance. But if you're working like in marketing or you're working in a different type of analytical work, I would say you can call yourself a quant if you have expertise in that field, plus the other three. And then there's one other crucial fact of being a quant. Uh, a quant, I don't feel like is a thing that you get to. Like you don't, you don't do all these steps and then you hit quant status. Um, again, I feel like there's a minimum. Like the minimum is you need to know a lot of math, a lot of statistics, a lot of computer science, and a lot of your topic of choice, right? but you need a lot of that. It's not like an undergraduate level. You need ex advanced, advanced skills in these. Um, again, you're not gonna be strong on all four of them most likely, but I think the thing that makes you a quant is A, you have the minimums, you have good knowledge in all four of these areas. And second of all, I feel like a quant is a process, it's not an event. So the thing is, is you don't become a quant, which a lot of people I think go and get like a financial engineering degree, uh, PhD in econometrics, uh, PhD in statistics, masters in any of these, for example, and they say, oh, I'm a quant, right? But then you look at these people and they're never learning. A real quant is somebody who more or less hits the minimums, but they're a quant because they're in the process. Like they always want to do better. They want to learn more statistics, more mathematics, more computer science, and more about their field that they're modeling and developing more or less models and calculations for. And so I think that's the important takeaway from this, guys, is that being a quant is not something you get to. Being a quant is more or less hitting some minimums and then the fact that you're constantly learning about these different processes. So in finance, for example, quants are typically guys that build really complex models. Um, finance quants, I would assume you, in my opinion at least, you should have at least taken one class in stochastic calculus at minimum. You should eat, sleep, and breathe it. You should love computer science, love statistics, love finance. So. Anyways, that's just an example of a finance quant. That's my opinion. Uh, data scientists, you're not a quant. Um, you know stats, and you know like some stats programming. That's great, pat on the back, you're a data scientist, you're not a quant. Um, but that being said, you could be a data scientist and learn other areas and continue the learning process and learn, you know, for example, more mathematics, um, more of like economics and finance, and then you could become a quant and still be a, a data scientist. However, by default, data scientists are not quants. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.